from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. After this, he went out and saw a tax collector named Levi sitting at the customs post. He said to him, follow me. And leaving everything behind, he got up and followed him. Then Levi gave a great banquet for him in his house, and a large crowd of tax collectors and others were at table with them. The Pharisees and their scribes complained to his disciples, saying, Why do you eat and drink with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus said to them in reply, Those who are healthy do not need a physician, but the sick do. I have not come to call the righteous to repentance, but sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Your love 
Today's gospel reading has always been a very surprising one for me. Imagine putting yourself in the shoes of Matthew and you are there out in the open doing your regular daily tax collecting duties and all of a sudden out of nowhere this Jesus, this Jesus that you have famously been hearing about, this rumored Jesus who who healed the sick, who who raised the dead to life, giving sight to the blind and, and, and making the lame walk suddenly out of nowhere approaches you at your tax collecting table and says, come follow me. If I were in Matthew's shoes, and I'm sure many of you would also respond or react the same way I would, I would say, Lord, really? Me? You would call me to follow you, a tax collector? Are you sure you're not making a mistake? Maybe someone else here? I'm a sinner, Lord. Why call me to follow your band of disciples? I'm not fit for that. I bet many of us would doubt and express our doubts as well. And Peter himself would express his doubt when Jesus approached him in the boat when he was fishing. Lord, don't come near me. I am a sinful man. Many of us would express our doubt. But what did Matthew do? He was silent and simply stood up and followed Jesus. Wow, I bet Matthew was waiting for this moment. Matthew was waiting for someone or something to call him out of the rut he was living in. And mind you, background check on Matthew. He was a tax collector. He was collecting taxes from his fellow Jew and giving it to the Roman Empire and possibly keeping an extra in his own pocket. That's why his fellow Jew would look down upon tax collectors like Matthew, judging them, rejecting them, calling them outcasts. And I bet Matthew was sick and tired of the life he was living in, but just didn't know how to get out of it. He sorely needed a change to happen but he didn't know how to make it happen. He was uncertain, unsure of what the future held for him and just felt comfortable because maybe this was something forced into him, something he inherited possibly from his family. So what happened? Out of nowhere, Jesus came and called him and without a a, a second thought, even if he doubted, he stood up and followed Jesus. Friends, are you perhaps in a rut yourself? Are you like Matthew, waiting for someone or something to call you out of that monotonous, routinous way of living? Maybe you're tired of what's happening around you. You're tired of how your life is going. You're exhausted. You're burdened. And you're looking for a change. Friends, look no further. Jesus is calling you today by name as he has called Matthew by name. And he is asking you to come follow me. He didn't say what would happen. He didn't give a strategic plan of how things would turn out. But because that innate human need, that emptiness that Matthew acknowledged within himself compelled him to stand up and follow Jesus. That is why what happened after that moment, Jesus dined with Matthew and other tax collectors, other sinners, and the Pharisees and the teachers of the law that were looking upon them with judgmental eyes were there. Jesus knew what they were thinking. And what did he say? It is not the well that need the doctor, but those who are sick and have maladies. I have called not the righteous, but the sinners to repentance. And I bet that is why Matthew simply stood up and followed Jesus is because he already acknowledged within himself that he needed a change. He needed a new perspective in life. He was already resentful and repentful of his way of life, even if he didn't know how to get out of it. And friends, that is what Jesus is calling us today. By his grace and his grace alone, we can get out of the mess that we may be putting ourselves in on a daily basis. Maybe we're just living a monotonous way of life, and it is Jesus who can give us meaning, 
give us purpose, can fill in the void, the emptiness that we may be feeling for so long. And that is what Lent is all about. As Jesus calls us by name, we say, yes, Lord, we will follow you. And the Lord, when he calls us, he may be, he can be there to give us comfort or he can be there to disturb us. But nevertheless, when the Lord calls, he will call you to something bigger, to something greater. So my question for you today is, are you ready when the Lord calls you by name? Because he is calling us now more than ever before. We come before God. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you, O God. Thank you for your still small voice of every day. Even when we choose to deny or reject your voice, thank you for not giving up on us. Just as you did not give up and simply called Matthew by name, thank you. We say yes to you today because we know we cannot do this alone. And we need you, Lord. We need a change. We need a new perspective. We need to see ourselves afresh for who we really are by your eyes, by your lens. Because it is you, Lord, that who truly defines us for who we are. And we ask for your spirit to call us, to move us, to inspire us, to motivate us, to stand up and follow you. Yes, Jesus, we are grateful as we prepare to receive you and to love you this Lent. This we pray in your most holy and mighty name. Amen. In the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit.